There seems to be more and more people coming forward that they're not going to remove their videos uh, until Jay Slater gets justice. And fair play to people because some of the people like Hayley Comet, uh, this lady here, she's saying that as it is. And you can just see that um, she's passionate about the case and getting justice for Jay. Isn't it strange how you'd want the videos of your child removed? from a social media platform if he fell. That's very weird, isn't it? We all know he didn't fall. We all know Jay Slate was murdered. We all know that. We're not that stupid. His own family know that. Um, but the fact we'll go at Hayley Comet to remove the videos. Unfortunately, this is our pages and this is our content. And if your son, unfortunately, was on the news, it then gives us a right to then speak about it because it become public knowledge. But I won't be removing any of my videos, unfortunately, because I think the whole thing's absolutely dodgy, so my videos will be remaining. Fair play to you. Fair play to you in what you said. I truly respect that. I won't be removing any of my videos because I'd like to see people go back through them just in case there's information that even I've missed because I've done so many videos. Um, same with so many YouTubers who put in effort and um, a lot of looking at uh, videos and what people say and what people hear um this case is not over and i just think um some of these people who see and remove the videos is because we're close to the truth the second part of this um which obviously the time schedule it's been talked about quite a lot but i'm going to let this guy speak first uh in this video and then i'll comment lucy may knows a lot more about jay's disappearance than she's letting on and especially about aok Sin. and it seems these two are trying to keep their names well apart from each other so let's break a couple of things down first off let's talk about the times when jay contacted lucy so in her first statement she made, she stated that Jay called her at 8 o'clock. Literally not slept at all since, since I've got that phone call at 8 o'clock. But in a second interview she did 72 hours later, she said that Jay called her at 8.30. And then I woke up to um, um, a phone call at 8 o'clock and then I woke up to a phone call at half 8 in the morning, around half 8. So which one was it? 8 or 8.30? Because that's a big time difference. Even then, the times don't match up with the screenshot of the WhatsApp location that was sent to her. As you can see from this picture, it says last updated 28 minutes ago. But look at the top of the screen, it says 8.49. So that would mean that Jay sent that to you at 8.20. So if he called you at 8 o'clock and said he was sending you the location, it took him 20 minutes to send that location across to you on 1% battery. And he definitely couldn't have called you at 8.30 if he sent his location before that. So make it make sense. Another thing that don't make sense to me is the fact that Lucy stated that when she was on the phone to Jay, she said if there's one thing you need to do is listen to me. Uh, we know that uh, Lucy is very good at trying to change the narrative in her speaking to Jay. Um, she actually confuses herself a lot because she, she is quite smart in the way she doesn't really, she gives you a narrative, but she doesn't really, she's very vague with it. You know, we're not, there's no times, there's no specific evidence to make us feel warm and on her side. Um, she's a very good liar, um, manipulative, and I think a lot of people listen to, listen to her. Um, yes, we've had a lot of information about this and it's been discussed um, many a times, but also what the guy said is that she wants to distance herself as much as possible away from Aup. And she said she went after two guys she didn't know. And then Aup said, yeah, he knows Lucy um, through the club scenes. And we all know that um, Lucy and Aup were on each other's Facebooks, but have probably hidden their uh, identities now that they actually know each other. But we know they know each other. But I, I suppose what I'm getting at is that 
just come clean be honest be honest don't be vague because people are going to keep um chasing you down and wanting the true account of what happened and it also it can save a lot of people getting in a lot of young people should i say getting in trouble over there that don't know what they're getting themselves into because i think the you know the rugs trade um the people that want you getting to evolve are very 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 dangerous and um it's a big mind opener to me to other people to the public to the families that are involved in that lucy brad ayup even brandon they're ruthless it's because they won't come clean about someone they knew they like they went to um his well um apart from a they went to his funeral and yet they're still doing um badness should i call it a few more messages uh i'm going to read out um from the public on my page uh, someone said, uh, if I was Debbie, I'd be using the GoFundMe to have an independent coroner and private investigations on it. I think, I possibly think, um, quote me on this, people, I think she's probably got um, someone looking into the case. I'm sure sh she would have um, just a few more answers, you know, that the family can say, look, did this happen or did, you know, and looking information which is good for them someone else said um zach is shy and grieving yes he took a back seat i agree because uh like i said um i think jay uh was the favorite and jack zach being the older brother um i respect him because he's been there for his his, his parents and has been humble too in this and it must be horrific losing a younger brother you know I've got two brothers and I know what they actually mean to me. Debbie went to Tenerife first, so she was like the main person of contact and Debbie is probably more confident than Warren. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. I think Warren's a bit more um, quieter, a bit more reserved, but um, I'm just happy that he is doing his own investigations um, at the moment. And you can tell that he wants more answers. Someone says, obviously, uh, Hayley Comet, she's been under a lot of pressure um, to delete um, her videos. I just think she's probably, one of the reasons for that is because she's close to the truth. So happy that um, Comet Crime is back on this. She did so much during the search that it would be a shame to walk away from it. I wish that Miss Vodka would get back on this as well. She's dynamite. She's absolutely brilliant. They both think outside the box. They're both intelligent in their way of thinking and they were the ones earlier on who actually blew open the case and actually gave me inspiration to go on and on and on. Um, someone else said, it's a good point. It's annoying when people's questions others grief and how they should react. We don't know how we would react unless we were in that situation and none of us would want to be. I can firmly agree. I thought the, the woman talking in the first video, I thought she was a little bit harsh and should have been a little bit more sensitive into someone losing uh, their, uh, their boy. Someone else says, I wonder if Warren hasn't, hasn't done an interview because he knows if he speaks, he might say something to incriminate certain people. Yeah, I probably would as well. Uh, I might be, I might be possible that he's digging behind the scenes before he may, uh, calls in the UK police. As for Zach, I just think the guy's totally devastated and he's lost his younger brother. That's what I did say. And I do think Warren um, is reflecting on everything and has now the energy to actually go on to find uh, more truth. Someone says, I like her. Um, she's straight to the point and ask uncomfortable questions. Others are too afraid to ask. She is. I think this is the lady in the first video. Um, with the tech suntan. I think she is. I think she's um, pretty live in what she said at um, straight points, but I think you've got to understand the depth 
um, of the case and the sensitivity of it as well. Someone says, perhaps Warren is just naturally the quiet type of bloke. My dad wasn't a big speaker and my mum was. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Someone else says, I like her clips about Jay, but I type in her name. Nothing comes up. Only follow the bloggers. That makes sense. And think the same as us. Help Marvin. Great work as always. Peace. Thank you. You've got to remember at least this last friend's, her words, is Abe's mate. Zach comes across, I don't know what that comes from, I may be talking about Lucy. Zach comes across as quiet and obviously shell-shocked over it. And wherever this is, foul play and murder from the beginning of this film. Netflix authors monetize on horror and gruesome happenings. Uh, Ted Bundy, The Moors Murders, Madeleine McCann, the list goes on and that she shouldn't bring up this sensitive topic at the end of the day. The Slater family have the right to do as they wish regarding this story. Not my business or anyone else's. Look, um, if they make a documentary uh, and it's good for people to see, younger people to see as well, as well as everybody else, um, then I think it's a good thing because it's actually putting a story out there, a true story out there, what can happen if you get mixed up in, in, in Tenerife? Some have said, oh my God, no one knows how you will react uh, to that first lady. You should be respectful and um, shut up. I don't think, like I said, I think she should be just a little bit more sensitive in that someone had um, lost their son. And you've got to be careful in the way you, you, you put things because it is a very, very sensitive matter. Uh, this case if I've got a few more that we can look at someone said sad but true Jay's ultimate draft has opened a huge can of worms absolutely gone way beyond anything those involved ever expected that's a brilliant point that's one of the best messages uh, I've seen very very well true I think what it is I think people were duped into thinking that he did actually fall off a ravine but when we had Lucy's interviews and Brad interviews and um, that Newcastle uh, got um, true Geordie and put the story out there very early on in the case that he thinks there's something suspicious happening I think a lot of people got on the bandwagon and started doing their own investigations on the, on the case uh, which brought up many 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 things which were contradicting to what Lucy said, to what Brad said, and to what Ayup and Rocky said um, as well. And I think we're at that point now, people, where I think that we really, really need a massive breakthrough um, at the moment, because I do think that, I know people are still on the bandwagon, because we haven't got any really, really, someone come forward and say, this is what happened. Until we get that, I think this case is going to tailor off a bit. As much as I'll support it, if I've got any, even if it's a small 30 second information, I'll put it up there. But we, we need a big push to actually get justice now. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and support the channel. Thank you very much indeed, wherever you are in the world.